In this video today, I want to show you how to make a YouTube end screen template, just like this animated one that you can see over here in just a few minutes. But then I'm also going to show you how to set up this end screen template on your video outros. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, it's Alan here again from the Smart Video Tactics channel where I create tutorials to teach you how to grow your YouTube channel, have the best impact and get that channel monetized. If this is the first time you've come to my channel, go down the bottom, hit that subscribe button, turn on all the notifications, that way we can grow together. So today I want to teach you a fantastic way of how you can get awesome looking animated end screens guys and for those of you who don't know what end screens are i'm going to show you exactly right now i'll give you a complete walkthrough and then i'll show you how to get this set up on your video outro so i've got a sample video over here that i'm going to show you all the elements to these video outros so that when you create your end template you know exactly what you can put in there and how it all works if i come over here and click onto this sample video that i have set up for us What's going to happen is when you're uploading a YouTube videos, for those of you that have done this before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. For those of you that haven't, once you get to this stage over here where it says video elements, you've got a couple of options over here. The first option over here is you have here is to add an end screen. Now an end screen is super important because this allows the viewer to click onto another video that they can watch. And this can be a number of options, which I'll show you in a second, but they can also subscribe to your channel and it's your opportunity to give them another call to action, which I'll discuss in a second. So when you get to this stage over here, an end screen is 20 seconds long. That is the maximum amount of time that you have to use the elements on this end screen, which I'm going to show you in a second. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice over here is that you've got a number of templates and options over here that you can use for this end screen. Now, typically what YouTube is going to do is it's going to leave the one that you're always using over here as your favorite. As you can see, I like to have two videos and my subscribe button. In this instance, we're going to select this one over here. And what this does, as you can see, is it gives you a number of options over here that you can use. If you see this element option over here, if we click onto this, in the end screen part of the video, when you're finishing up your video, you've got a number of options. Number one is you can select a video that you'd like to put over here. Okay. So as you can see here, we've got video most recently uploaded, and then you've got best for viewer. So if we just delete one of these, I just want to take you through these options. So over here, you can select most recent uploaded. So that's the last video that you uploaded on your channel. It's going to keep showing that last video every single time you upload a new video, this video over here is going to be replaced with your most recent video. Then if we come over here, you've got best for viewer. And what's going to happen is YouTube is going to determine what video is best fit for the person that's about to watch that next video. So if they have a tendency to watch a certain type of video, YouTube is going to find a video that you have on your channel and it's going to show them that video, which is a powerful tool so that it keeps people watching and it keeps them on your channel, which increases your overall watch time, your overall session time, which can help push your channel into the suggested part of YouTube. So when you come over here, as you can see, you can also choose a specific video if you want over here. Okay. So you can quite simply come over here and you can select the type of video that you want. The other option that you have over here is if you click onto this is you can select a playlist. So if you come over here, as you can see here, if you've got any playlist set up, you can quite simply come over here and select a playlist. Now, what this has done is it's just doubled down so we can get rid of this over here now and we can leave this playlist over here. The other thing that we can see over here is this subscribe feature. So if we were to delete that, for example, you could come over here, click onto element, and you can add that subscribe button over there as well, which allows people to subscribe. Now, if we come over to element over here, when we're setting up this end screen, you've got the option of also linking to a channel. If you've got another channel, you can click onto that. So if you go over here, click onto that, you can add a channel URL as well, which gives people the option to subscribe if you've got multiple channels. And the last option that you have over here is you can add a link. You just need to make sure that all links are approved and that you're not sending anybody to any sort of you know spam website or anything like that. Extremely important. Now, as you can see here, with these end screens, you can see that you can only do this for a number of seconds and you've got 20 seconds that you're allowed to have an end screen on. So if we come over here and we move this because what I've got set up over here is I have an animated end screen that plays over here. Now, when you move 
these features around, okay, what you want to do is you want to make sure that they fit over here nicely into these different elements that you've got over here. And you can see here that you can move these elements up and down, but under no circumstances can you overlap any of these elements, okay? And if you do, you're going to see that it is all going to turn red, okay? So you need to make sure that they all fit where they belong over here, and then you'll be able to finalize this. So how did I get this animated end screen template? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. And the site that you want to go to is this one over here called Place It by Envato, okay? And if you come over here, you're going to see here that this site over here has a number of different options that you can use as a YouTube content creator. But for the purposes of this video, what you want to do is you want to come over here where it says video, you want to scroll down to here and you want to click onto YouTube videos. And once you click onto YouTube videos over here, you're going to have the opportunity to click onto YouTube end screens, okay? So if you scroll down here on the left-hand side, you can just go here and click onto YouTube end cards. Okay, so once we click onto these end cards, it's going to give us a variety of different templates that you can use. And these are all animated end screens that you can use on your channel and they're super, super easy to edit as well. So what you want to do when you're on this page over here is you want to come over here and you want to pick a template that you'd like to use. And as you can see, you've got three pages of this. So let's say you come over here and you select this template over here. What's going to happen is it's going to take you over to a page that looks like this, which is going to give you all the features to edit this end screen template, okay? And I'm going to show you exactly and walk you through and show you how I set mine up, okay? So when you come over here, as you can see, this is the template that we're going to be using over here, the end card template. And over here, as you can see, you've got these text and then you've got the font as well that you can play around with and you've got the colors as well. So if you come over here and you click onto this refresh, it's going to show you how this plays over here. And then what you want to do is you want to come around and you want to play around with these colors. Okay. The other thing that you've got over here as well is you've got an audio track. So if you want to select a different audio track, you can click onto this and then you can choose an audio track. Myself, I like to leave my own voice on there or play my own audio track. So I always turn that off. And when you come over here, you can see that you can change this wording over here. So let's say you wanted to add, say, watch a particular video next, you could go over here and you could enter that text in, or you can just click on to watch next or next video. Here you've got the subscribe element. And as you can see, that says subscribe. You can change the color of that if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave that as is. Now, when you come over to here, you can see that the text holder, when you play this, is black over here, and you can leave that as that color, or you can come over here and change that to whatever color you think fits best. Now, when you come over here, you're going to be able to see that they've got a whole range of different types of back screens over here that you can change this to. So if you come over here and click onto this over here, for example, if we click onto that, you're going to see that it's going to start loading this preview and it's going to change that text over here. Now with this text over here, this is the section over here that you're only going to be allowed to move around those elements. Okay. So you've only got within that space to move around those elements. Now, if you wanted to, you can come over here and you can upload your own image, which I'm going to show you exactly how I did that when I set up my end card template. Okay. So if you come over here and click on to upload image, I'm going to show you an image that I'm using or I've downloaded as well. So if I come over here, I'm just going to click into this and I'm going to use a pre-made template that I have. So I'm just going to click onto that. And over here, you can see that you can crop this, move this around however you like. Okay. So we're just going to leave that the size that's there and just click on to crop. And what's going to happen now is you're going to see that this is the image that's going to be inside that section of part of this end screen. Okay. So once this downloads, so as you can see now, our YouTube end card template has downloaded. So if I play this over here, you're going to see this animated, awesome looking end card over here. Okay. So as you can see, that's all being done. Now I want to show you how you can increase this time over here. As you can see at the moment, it's only nine seconds long. Now, if you wanted that to be longer, if you come down here, okay, you can see here that the playback speed is at one at the moment. If you hit that at 0.5, that's going to double that time there to 17 or 18 seconds. It works around about there. And if you go 1.5 over here, it's going to shorten that time even more. Okay. So you only get a few seconds 
of that template. Now, once you've hit play, because we've changed that, you need to hit play. Once this video is finished downloading, then you're going to be able to check it, make sure that you're happy with it. And then I'll show you how you can download this so you can upload it to your video editor. So as you can see now, that has increased that time there to 17 seconds. So from here, what you want to do when you're happy with your end card template, you want to come over here and you want to click on to download. Once you click on to download, it's going to give you two options. Number one is you can see here that you can pay $9.95 for this service over here and that's a one-time fee for you to get that end card but there's got so much services on this site guys that if you wanted to pay a monthly fee you can over here it's going to cost you $14.95 every single month and you can get YouTube banners you can create thumbnails as well which is fantastic okay so depending on what you want to do you can click on to that once you purchase that what's going to happen is that's going to get rid of this watermark over here now once you download that onto your computer and you come over to your editor over here you're then going to be able to add this end screen over here to the end of your video and like I said you've only got 17 seconds over here and as you can see this is going to be the end screen over here now another thing that you can do with any one of your video editing softwares okay is you can add a different type of transition over here and what I've done on my video over here as you can see I've just added it on there to slide through okay which gives it a bit more of an effect makes it look a little bit better and helps with the video animation okay and like I said you just want to make sure that when you're finishing up for the video you want to make sure that the end of your video whatever you're saying doesn't go more than 17 seconds and that you're telling them to subscribe to your channel or to click onto that next video so from here once you've done this and you're uploading this to your channel over here you come over here and you click onto the template that you would like to use and then what you want to do is you need to make sure that you move this over to where this end screen template transition starts from you move all this across over to here and then what you want to do is you want to slide this over just to make sure that you fit all these different elements onto exactly where they fit over here and like I said earlier you just got to make sure that none of this is overlapping okay and as you can see if we move this over to here because we've set that transition in there as you can see it's going to slide over and we've got an awesome looking end screen template that you can use on every single one of your videos where you're going to tell people to click onto that following video. So that was my video for today on how to make an awesome looking YouTube end card template. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but don't go anywhere. I've got this awesome video over here on nine free YouTube tools that you can use to grow fast. Until next time, I'm Alan from Smart Video Tactics. You take care of yourself and goodbye.